what uh so i haven't really done a video in a little bit but i did get some new watches in um the reason why i haven't really because uh, when i get a watch and i want to i kind of want to do an unboxing before i do a full review um so i have so the issue is um so i have the watch or the watches that i purchased i per i live in canada so i have it shipped to the u.s uh, but I kind of I, I wear it over um, to avoid duty uh, and um, so I leave the boxes at the at the at the uh, po not the post office but my storage unit there I have a storage unit so I leave the boxes there so I had planned to wear the watches over and then the a day after I just go back for the uh, the watch box which I normally do and it's completely fine but because of COVID-19, they've closed the borders. So I'm lucky that I, I have the watches I purchased um, on hand already, but I don't have the boxes. So anyways, here is an unboxing of the Hamilton Khaki Frogman in blue. See you in a bit. So here is the, well, this will be the un unboxing, but without the box of the Hamilton Frogman khaki in blue. And this is kind of like my first impressions of the watch. The watch is very, very heavy. It has polished center links, which I didn't know uh, looking at the stock photos. For some reason, I thought this whole thing was brushed. I kind of prefer the polished. It gives it a dressier look, it gives it a more bling bling look. And I tend to wear jewelry often throughout the day. And it kind of, it matches it a lot better than like if I wore like a crazy diamond ring with a brushed watch. It kind of, I don't know, it doesn't match out very well. Uh, but the case is brushed and then the center links are polished. So it goes great with uh, white gold. The blue is absolutely gorgeous. It's sunburst. I'm indoors right now, so you may not be able to see it uh, very well, but I'll try to capture it, sort of. <laughs> As I mentioned, it's a, it's a heavy watch. The bracelet feels uh, very substantial. It's a lot wider. Well, actually, I'm not really, I think the lugs, like for the straps and the bracelet, I think it's 22 millimeters. So it is slightly bigger than a Rolex. And also it doesn't, it doesn't quite tape, it doesn't taper quite as much as the Rolex. I think it still tapers. Haven't really had a chance to go over like the whole watch. Uh, I just got this watch. I think it tapers like a little bit, maybe, I don't know. The watch is 42 millimeters. They do make it in a, I think 46, which is like really huge. Um, usually when I buy a watch, if it comes in a bigger size, I do buy the bigger size, but the bigger size only comes in the red, red bezel with the black dial and it comes on a strap. So it's kind of like a bunch of stuff I don't really want. I'm a bracelet type of guy. Although this does come on the uh, blue strap, that's uh, really beautiful as well. So I might order that, I may order that later on. As I always say, even if you want a watch on a strap, buy it on a bracelet first and then buy the strap later on. You're gonna come up ahead and save yourself a lot of money and maybe heartache in the future. I do know people that have bought a watch on a strap thinking they want the strap and then later they want the bracelet and the bracelet just costs a lot more to purchase afterwards than a strap would. It has a very funky uh, little, there's a lock here to unscrew the crown. I haven't really played with that very much. It's pretty tall. Also, it also has like this, like, oh, there you go. So I guess you just push it. Oh, that's surprisingly easy compared to 
my Rolex, Rolex Submariner and the useless Easy Link on my Rolex GMT. I will be doing a full review on this uh, once I settle in. I wish I had the box here. The box is in, sorry about that, I'm back. And yeah, my box is in Washington. I will pick it up once the border opens up again. Until then, a uh, full review will come shortly. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>